Hey everyone, so today I'm just going to be doing a tutorial on how to create this hairstyle which is the Betty Page bangs which were very popular in the 1950s. This look was made popular by Betty Page who was a notorious pinup girl in the 50s. Uh, not quite as big as Marilyn Monroe but she still had a cult following and she was very famous for her short uh, curled over fringe which has been copied and copied ever since the 1950s. So it's a really easy hairstyle to achieve and today I'm just going to guide you through how to do it. Okay so I'll just run through the things that you'll need for this tutorial. First thing that you will need are sectioning clips. Next you will need a teasing comb. And the difference between a normal comb and a teasing comb, if you didn't know, is if you will look carefully at this comb, uh, the little bits up here are rough. So basically when you tease it, it will just tease the hair better and it will make the teased hair stay for longer. So that's what to look out for when you're buying a teasing comb. And then you will need one of these hairbrushes, which is a boar hairbrush, which is great for smoothing over hair once you've teased it. Uh, bobby pins, you'll need those these for pretty much all the tutorials that I'll be doing for hair. Hairspray, another must have, and I'm using my favourite hairspray, Elnet hairspray, which I've talked about before. And the last thing that you'll need for this tutorial, which is something that you might have not seen before, is one of these. And this is basically called a roly poly. It's um, kind of an additional hair padding kind of thing. It's a pretty cool little thingy. It's spongy and it's synthetic. This is basically what is going to keep the shape of my fringe roll. You can buy them in blonde or brown. You can buy one of these at pretty much any kind of hairdressing supply stores and yeah they're usually called a roly poly so you'll need one of these to put underneath your hair they're not very expensive mine was about 10 or 15 dollars and yeah they're great uh, in the 1950s and 60s they actually used to make these out of their own hair which they used to pull out of their hair brushes and put them together in kind of like a stocking thing and I Personally find that's a little bit gross, so I'd probably stick with buying one of these. Okay, so moving on with the tutorial. First thing you want to do is section off the part of hair that you want rolled. So, I'm just going to put my hair back. And you want to take a section from the front of your hair. Basically, I've just dyed my hair, so ignore the red all on my head. You want to take that front section there, which is kind of in a bit of a triangle shape. And you want to comb that. My god, my head is red. <laughs> you won't see that anyway when I finish. Just pin that back with a sectioning comb. So now that I've got that sectioned away, you'll just want to get the rest of your hair back so you can concentrate on your front bit of hair. So I'm just using sectioning clips to pin that back. Okay, so now I've got the front bit of hair. Take the hair out of the clip. And I'm just going to comb through it with my boar hairbrush and make it nice and smooth. Okay, and now the next step is to take your teasing comb and you want to get just little sections at a time and you want to tease it from the root and just tease that lightly all the way up um, underneath. And that's basically just going to give your hair a bit more volume. And this is also just going to make your hairstyle a little bit more stable. So, just running the teasing comb through there gently. So now I've done that, I'm just going to give it a light spray underneath. 
And then you just want to get your boar hairbrush and gently brush over the top part just to smooth it out. Okay, so the next step is to grab your roly poly and starting at the bottom, you're basically just going to take that roly poly and pulling it as tight as you can around the roly poly. I'm just going to roll it up towards my hairline. And you want to roll it out like this um, so that you can just get it on there properly. So, And it should be really nice and smooth on the top because you've smoothed it out with that boar hairbrush. Okay, so I've rolled it up. And it's just looking like that now. Now you'll still be able to see the roly poly from underneath, but first what you want to do is just kind of secure that in place by pinning clips underneath and against the front of your head, which will help keep the roly poly in place. Okay, so now I'm just going to focus on the ends. Uh, you want to make the ends nice and neat, but at the same time you want to make sure that they're covering that little sponge bit, otherwise it's going to give away that illusion. You don't want people to know that you've got that underneath there. So I'm just going to pin those. Doing a style like this does take some fiddling around, so don't get angry with yourself if you don't get it right at first because most of these kind of vintage hairstyles uh, do take a bit of perfecting so you do need to just practice. Practice makes perfect. Okay so that's on there pretty securely now. Uh, you can always just go over the shape and just kind of bend it to whatever way you want. The good thing about these roly poly things is they're quite flexible so if you want to bend it up or you want to bend it down you can do that and like with any kind of hairstyle that is all held together very carefully you want to secure it with hairspray so just give it a light spray over Okay, so now I'm just going to unpin the rest of my hair. You can do whatever you want with the rest of your hair. I'm just going to leave mine out. A lot of people like to pin it up in a high ponytail and curl it. That's a really good look. You might just want to pin it all back or you might want to do it out and curl it. But I'm a bit lazy, so I'm just going to leave it out like this. So, yeah, that's the finished look. I really like this look. It's great if you don't want to cut a fringe. You're a bit, you're kind of deciding whether to have a like a vintage rockabilly style fringe or not, but you're not really re ready to make the commitment. Uh, and yeah, it's just a great blast from the past hairstyle, which I do quite frequently. And I just wanted to add that you don't have to do this look with one of those roly polies. You can do the look just without one, and I did that way before I discovered. These. This basically just involves uh, teasing it a lot more, using a lot more hairspray and just getting the pins right in there. And a lot of the time if I'm doing this look in the day, I might do that because this is quite a dramatic look with the roly poly. Also you can get those roly polies in lots of different sizes. This is kind of the sausage one which is just quite fat and short. But you can get ones that are longer and you can just cut it down. So if you want a smaller, tighter one, then you can just buy them in different sizes depending on what kind of look you're going for. This is more of a full-on one. If you have any questions at all about this hairstyle or anything else, just feel free to ask me. And I'll be doing another video soon, so I'll see you guys soon.